the appeal of Vedic math runs full spectrum. Students, middle age, older, deaf, blind, prisoners in a, in a prison. I was asked to do a class in a prison. And the way this was, there were a lot of inmates that never graduated high school. Now, when I went into this prison, and I had never been in a prison before, uh, they gave me this like little electronic button. They said, we want you to keep this in your pocket. If at any point you feel like you need to, press the button. Inside of like 15 seconds, we'll have like 10 guards in there. Um, so I started to show these people. And it was supposed to go from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock with 10 minutes off per hour for them to you know, go to the bathroom or whatever. And at the end of the first hour, uh, and I had a supervisor in there with me. He was, stayed the whole time. Um, he goes, does anyone need a break? No. Let's keep going. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. And we finally ended at 12.30. No breaks. Oh, my goodness. And, and the funniest thing was, I thought all these people sitting at tables in front of me. But there were these two individuals. They were sitting like further back away from everybody else. And I'm looking at these two guys. Their forearms were the size of my head. <laughs> they were really muscular. Bear that in mind. Now, what I would do is I'd explain a concept. I'd write a problem on the board, ask if anybody wanted to come up and try, because I was warned against calling on somebody. Because if you call on somebody and they can't do it, they'll get embarrassed. And, you know, when you're in prison, you have to keep a certain persona. You know, you don't want to look like an idiot. But people were volunteering. As I'm going through two by two multiplication, one of these fellows in the back said, raises his hand. <clears throat> yeah. Can you do this with three numbers and three numbers? I said, uh, yeah, you can. And I said, I'm going to get to that as soon as I finish this. Okay. <clears throat> I, um, I give everyone a problem to work on. And while they're working on the problem, I walk, now this was a big mistake, in your retrospect, big mistake. I walk back to these two guys and I lean over the desk and I say to this guy, when we do the three by three and I ask for a volunteer to come up and do a problem, you're going to be my volunteer. <laughs> so be and I'm thinking, as I'm walking away, I said, boy, was that a stupid thing to do? This guy could kill me, you know. So I'm explaining three by three, and I finally put a problem on the board, and I said, okay, I, I need a volunteer to come up and do this. And I turn around. He's already halfway to the board. Well, needless to say, I put my hand in my pocket with the button, just in case. And he comes up, and, he, and I said, well, explain what you're doing while you're doing it. He does this. His explanation was better than I could ever do myself. It was, it's like I'm listening to him. It was like listening to a professor or something, you know, that's been doing this for a hundred years. I said, that is amazing. I said, you, you explain that better than I could. And at the very end of all this, the supervisor that was there, he says, you know, I've been doing this for close to 25 years. I have never seen any group sit for four hours without taking a break and be attentive and learn. He goes, I've never seen that happen. You were the first, this is the first time I've ever seen this happen. And again, I think it goes to show you that the appeal of Vedic math runs full spectrum. Students, middle age, older, deaf, blind, prisoners in a, in a prison. Um, you know, the, the as I say, the, the market for this sort of thing is out there. It's, it's like endless. Um, there, there's an organization that I've been introduced to called Math to Shine. And a lot of times, unless, you can get a book. 
And a lot of people just learn it from a book, but it's like anything else. It's not that easy. When you can see videos and someone actually explaining this step by step, topic by topic, not only do you learn more, but you could teach it to other people. This is, these concepts are not that difficult. They're really not. When, when you see them, they're, they're really relatively easy. And Math to Shine has a platform that will enable you to do this.